For this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Coastal Georgia Botanical Gardens and Historic Bamboo Farm located in Savannah, Georgia. Okay, so I found this attraction kind of tough to review, so I figure I should put that disclaimer at the front of this video. I've been to a lot of botanical gardens over the years, and my first impressions of this one were pretty underwhelming, to be honest. I've been to so many botanical gardens over the years that they all kind of run together, but the ones that stick out in my mind are the really elaborate ones with uh, lush landscaping, everything like Canapaha and Cypress Gardens and even the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. But the coastal Georgia Botanical Gardens is so sparse, and there's just so many empty fields where I think they are planning to do something with, but it's just, a lot of times it's just grass. There's just like big fields of grass, and even when you get to the gardens, you'll notice there's just not a lot of fauna and flora. I mean, that's kind of why you go to a botanical gardens, is to see that kind of stuff, and it's very thin and I realize this is run by the University of Georgia so it's not uh, a for-profit attraction but at the end of the day I've been to city parks and municipal parks with free admission that had more impressive landscaping than this one so I'm gonna get it right out of the way you're not gonna be dazzled when you go to this uh, particular botanical gardens I mean I brought my cinema camera trying to film flowers and ornamental gardens and stuff and I couldn't find them when I was here. I just I was hoping to dazzle my viewers with some really vibrant colors and it just it's just not here. So I'm gonna go on the record right now that all the uh, botanical gardens that I visited in Georgia I'm just not impressed with at the moment. Um, the Atlanta one is much nicer than this but they're really expensive. You know the the admission price at the Atlanta uh, botanical gardens is upwards of thirty dollars per person and here this is a inexpensive one so I thought this would be a hidden gem but the gardens here in Savannah are very lackluster. I was just, I can't recommend this one either. Admission price was about $7 for adults, and I'm not really sure it's worth it. Uh, I mean, the highlights for this particular attraction were being able to go into the greenhouses and see the orchids up close. I think there's some seasonal events, like uh, picking your own berries from the fields and everything. It might be the highlight. But uh, I guess I visited in the off season because I just, you know, I did my best to make this video interesting, and I, I just I wasn't able to. To be honest, this is pretty dull uh, scenery that you're watching right now. I mean, when you go to the website, they they talk about the cottage garden and the native plant trail and the Mediterranean gardens and the, the crepe myrtle alley and the rivers of iris and it's just you know you can see what's what's going on here in the video uh, it's a lot of mulch and not a lot of plants uh, and I guess Georgia's more seasonal than Florida so you know I maybe I'm spoiled because I grew up in Florida where we have year-round like um, flowers and perennials and stuff but uh, yeah I mean it's just but compared to the uh, botanical gardens in Florida, like Bach Tower and Cypress Gardens and Kanapaha, they, they, they absolutely blow this place away. And heck, even the landscaping at theme parks blows this place away. It just, yeah, I, I can't recommend it, and I'm just giving this an overall mixed review.